Hello and welcome to a new vlog. I just thought I would pop over and start at Edelin. I didn't even see you up there. You're so dark. <laughs> Hi baby, you wanna say hello? Oh, are you so super sleepy? <gasps> Look at the baby. Look at the other baby. I'm surrounded by my babies. <laughs> what a good start. Now there's cat hair everywhere. I just got done filming with the Adept and Heather palette. I'm loving it so far. That video will already be up by the time this vlog goes up. I don't even know what's gonna go on in the vlog this week, to be honest with you. I know I'm getting some packages today, so I guess I can show you those when they come. I don't really know what's going on. This is just gonna be like your basic week in the life, I think. <laughs> nothing too special going on, nothing like that, but who knows, it could take a turn. Or maybe I'm forgetting something that we're gonna be doing. I'm off today, I'm actually meeting my mom for lunch soon. I actually haven't seen her in a long time, actually. I think I saw her briefly for like a minute months ago. And I don't, I can't even remember the last time we really spent time together maybe a year ago, and one-on-one, -on -one, just the two of us, I literally couldn't even tell you. It's always got my siblings around or something. So I'm actually kind of excited to spend some time with her today. We're gonna get some food. I don't know where yet, but at this point I could probably eat anything. So whatever she's in the mood for, I will be down for. And yeah, I think the rest of today is just gonna be kind of chill. I did some editing this morning. I'll probably do some more editing later. Are you on your scratcher? I actually do wanna kind of put away my spring decor now that like, I don't know, like we're still in spring, but it's starting to feel more like summer. <laughs> and I kind of want to just get rid of my bunnies and chickens and pastels and stuff like that. We don't really do summer decor. I do have some like spooky fruits that have like carved jack-o'-lantern faces that I bought Halloween time last Halloween from Target um, that I'll put those out. But besides that, not really a whole lot else. I'm actually really, really missing Halloween right now. Literally as soon as Valentine's Day is over, I swear I start missing Halloween like crazy. Um, so I think what I want to do is just go shopping for some more just like black and white decor just to kind of make the house more my vibe even though it can't be Halloween quite yet. I mean it could. I just I don't like to put my pumpkins and stuff out year round because I really like it to feel extra special that time of year. I do spooky decor year round obviously. There's bats out pretty much as long as it's black and white and not orange or pumpkins. I am down to have it out. So I just want to kind of search maybe for some more stuff witchy vibes, that kind of thing. So maybe I'll do some of that this week. We shall just see how the week goes. Uh, yeah, I basically just wanted to introduce the vlog and say hello. I hope you're having a good day. I love my little vlog community. So let's get on with the week. All right, makeup haul incoming. I ripped my lashes off because I got sick of them. Uh, let's see here. I got a little quad from Aether Beauty, but it doesn't really speak to my soul. So I think I'm just gonna give it to a friend. It's the Citrine quad. It's just not totally my vibe, you know? So I'm gonna give that one to a friend instead. And then I got a package from What's Up Beauty. This is the Geodes palette. Got that packaging, this is beautiful. I have not tried this brand before they reached out to me. Um, the insides of this palette are gorgeous. So, so, so pretty. I think I'm gonna do an Instagram video with this palette slash TikTok. So, just stay tuned, my dears. And they also sent me polishes, six polishes that go along with the Geode palette. And they also sent me their clear coat. Uh, let's see, so this one is called Road Night. Cute neutral, matches my shirt perfectly, actually. This one is called Clay. This one is super cute, Peridot. So pretty. This one is Agate. Such a pretty shifty color. I might actually put this one on my nails. Ooh, or maybe this one, Earth-like is what it's called. This one's also really pretty. I'm probably gonna put one of those two on and I'll show you once I do it. And this one's called Crystal. Also tempted by this one, but I think the other two will just top over this one nicely so I don't have to remove it. And then last but not least, Gavisi Beauty, formerly known as Glamby, sent me a huge PR package and they also just gave me an affiliate code, which is super exciting because I've been using their cake liners for such a long time. So if you feel like shopping for some cake liners, you can use Batty Bean to save 10%. I appreciate it very much if you use it. Let me show you what I got. They sent me a bunch of singles. Um, we have Popstar. They all just look exactly like they look in the pot. Ocean Drive. I love that pink. This one's a duochrome. It's called Crown. This one is Bell Bottoms, a really pretty blue. They actually sent me all shades that I don't have. Antique Gold. 
Well, technically they did send me one that I used to have, but I decluttered it last December and I kind of regret decluttering it. So I'm glad that it's back in my life. This one is dark rose. It's actually really pretty. It's like a deep metallic, like, brown color but it looks like it has a little bit of burgundy to it i don't know how to explain it but it's beautiful this one's disco fever and i'm not quite sure if that one's matte black or if it's metallic black but we shall find out at some point a uh, pacific view i love this color i think it is beautiful and this one is creamsicle also so stinking cute and then the last few are graphite which is the one i used to own and now i own it again <laughs> cool mint super cute i actually might own this one i guess i should double check i might own cool mint um, miami beach delicious neon green and this one is total babe like a neon peachy orange i'm obsessed i was thinking about doing like graphic liner may like every single look i do in may every single video i do will incorporate some kind of graphic liner even if it's minutely just so i can get use out of my different liners and that was before they even reached out to send me this package so I might just do that. I might just do that. Uh, they also sent me some cake retro liners, like split cakes. This one is called Fire. Super cute. You can kind of mix and match. This one is called Chromes. It's like rainbow, if I can get it open. Metallic rainbows. This one is the Neutrals. It's actually really aesthetically pleasing to look at that one. And then they also sent me this one. It's like a build your own palette like that and it has some shades in it and a brush the shades are nocturnal evergreen fringes potion marigold and titanium um, and the brush that it comes with is amazing it has this teeny teeny tip so that's really cool i like the idea of like the build your own cake palette i didn't even know that was a thing they did they sent me a couple other brushes as well they sent me gv10 and gv12 10 is on the top 12 is on the bottom and then they also sent these two. This one is GB20, good for painting, and 18 also good for painting, but smaller. I'll probably really get use out of these for swatches, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. And they also sent me this multi-use primer, which according to the box, it said you could use this like before your liner, you could use this with glitter, you can use it for face crystals, you can use it with lashes. So I guess I'll give this a go. I'll play around with it in different ways, see how I feel. But that's it for the haul. Uh, today's been good. Lunch was good. I had a good time with my mom. And now Zane and I are just going to eat dinner. I think I'm going to have a really tiny dinner, though. We had pasta for lunch, and I am still pretty full. Uh, I'm going to paint my nails one of these colors, and I will show you once I'm done. I don't know which one I'm leaning towards right now. They're both really cute. They're both really, really cute. I think I really might do the, the agate one. It's just, it has a nice shine to it. It has a nice shift. And I think it'll complement what I already have nicely. So yeah, I'll show you when my nails are done. All right, get one last look at bunny graveyard situation, springy tombstones. I'm putting it all away. I'm kind of already over the pastel-y springy vibes. They're cute but I'm a little bit over it. And again, I'm missing Halloween so bad. So I think what I want to do is I'm just going to clear this off and then just try to decorate with whatever basic like black and white decor that I have. I just don't have like that many things. Like this stuff stayed up year round. Like it's been here for since we moved in basically some of my black and white Halloween decor. And I might have some more things floating around, but I just want more of a simplistic look until I decorate for Halloween. So I think I'm just gonna take all this down for now. Um, we did go to TJ Maxx last night. All we found was this soft black blanket and it's really freaking soft actually, but literally nothing else. All the fake plants were ugly. There was really no cute black and white decor. So what do you think, Leela? Oh, oh my goodness. That was the cutest thing you've ever done in your whole life. So here's the vibe now, not like too elaborately different, just a little more toned down. There's still some pops of like springy summer with the flowers. I kept a couple of the like pastel-y skulls, but just added a little bit more of a darker aesthetic to the mix. Have like black and white now. I th forgot I had this pillow actually, I've had it for years, but it was in my closet upstairs and same with that one. So that helps add 
just a little bit to the mix. And then over here is super, super simple. I definitely need some more decorations for over here, but for now it looks like this. These are actually bookends from at home, but I thought they were kind of cute just chilling here like this. So yeah, I feel a little bit better about this space. I needed some more darkness and spookiness in the mix again. Leela's on the TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm vibing with this more. I think I'm gonna change the colors of the accent lights too, away from blue, maybe to purple. I think purple might be really cool for a little while. So yeah, that's the vibe. Hello, it is a new day. I just got done filming. I filmed a little Instagram video with the Heather Austin and Adept palette I love. And I also just filmed my recent ranking my last 10 palettes video and that was really tough. I've been pondering over the order of these for like a week now. <laughs> so that'll be up soon after this vlog. Just stay tuned for that. Um, I don't even know why I decided to vlog today. Nothing really is going on. I'm going to work soon. Uh, the finale for RuPaul's is tonight and I am so excited. Who are you hoping is going to win? It will have already happened by the time this vlog goes up, but who have been your favorite queens this season? I think Lady Camden's my number one, but Willow Pill is a very close second. I would be over the moon if either of them won, but really I'm not mad at the top five. I think Angeria is just such a pure soul. She is so funny and beautiful. Um, I love Bosco. I just think her style is amazing. Sometimes her attitude's a little weird, but I love her style. And for the most part, I just love her. Daya Betty doesn't have my favorite attitude, but I do think she's had a lot of growth this season and her style is also just amazing. They are all wonderful queens and I'm so excited for the finale. And then I'm gonna be so sad when it's over. What am I gonna do every Friday night? It's almost time. Mean Girl seems to always play right before RuPaul lately. Who are you rooting for? Willow, Bosco, all of them, and you. Yeah, yeah. Lady Camden. All I think of them. Willow and Lady Camden are my tops. But I won't really be mad if any of them win. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, I'm really excited. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Would you ever want to go to this live? <laughs> it would be fun. Their Instagram's been really fun to watch because they've been posting like everyone's like red carpet looks and stuff. Is this the first time we're watching the finale live? Um, no, we watched it live last year. That's fine. And in 2020 actually too, because that's when we saw Jada win. Last year with Simone. I'm so excited. Hello, my handsome. Hello, Felix. Hello. You're so cute. Look at that nose. Commercial break, but I got sent the Winnie the Pooh collection from ColourPop. It's a pretty cute collection, but I really don't need anything from it. And really out of the highlights, I'd only be able to use one. Um, these lip colors are cute, but I have them a million times over. And the palette's cute, I just don't need it. But these, the little honey pot lip mask and lip scrub, I just can't take it. It is so stinking cute. And then I also made a Gavisi Beauty order. I know I just got a bunch of PR, but it basically motivated me to buy a couple shades that I didn't already have. And plus they were having a sale and I had a coupon on top of that to stack. So I got Duochrome Enchanted, Duochrome Magic Forest, Duochrome Spell, Duochrome, what is, what are you? Wonderland. This is Duochrome Dragon. And then this is just a regular one called Tropics, but the color was just super, super cute. So little makeup haul, back to the show. So proud and so excited. It's so funny too, like those were my top two and they were the top two. <laughs> Oh, hello. It is a new morning, Monday morning, new week. I just got done filming. I filmed a little Instagram video slash TikTok, which that TikTok should be up sometime today. So that'll be up on TikTok before this vlog goes up. And I filmed my favorites video, which will be up very soon as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna be heading to work very soon. I don't think there's anything exciting happening tonight and this vlog's going up tomorrow. So I figured I would just pop on and say hello. We actually did go to Universal with my first best friend ever, Lindsay and her husband, Griffin, and it was very fun. I didn't vlog it just because I vlogged like every single time we've been to Universal thus far. So I figured this time I would just have fun without bringing a camera along. And it was a lot of fun. It was a good day spending time with them. And now it's a new week. I woke up actually pretty early this morning. Usually I wake up closer to like 7, 7.15. This time I woke up like at 6.30, so that was nice. I got a nice long run in. I got some journaling done in my planner. I just relaxed outside for a little bit, took a nice long shower. Now I'm here filming, and I feel like that was a really positive start to the week. But I've started to almost like 
start considering Monday my first day of the week. I know it's all like, I don't know, it's all just conceptual. It doesn't really matter. Time is but an illusion, you know, but I feel like for me, kind of putting my brain as Monday is the start of the week kind of just allows me to start Monday on a really good foot. And then Sunday can just be my last day. It can feel like I got a lot done this week. I can relax today. I don't need to worry about doing a lot of work because when I feel like I mentally put Sunday as the beginning of the week, I feel like I have to get so much done on Sunday to like start the week off right. Does that make any sense? I feel like I'm rambling for no reason, but regardless, I feel like I'm off to a good start this week. I think Monday is gonna be a good day today and I'm excited for the rest of the week. There are some exciting things happening over the next couple days that I will vlog for the next vlog, so just stay tuned. As usual, I love my little vlog community. I love chatting with you. I feel like we just have such a nice, just cozy relationship. I feel like you're able to get to know me more. I'm able to get to know you more. I feel like we can relate to each other even more and it's just a lot of fun. So just thank you so much for hanging out and thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this vlog, I don't know. You know what, just leave me whatever emoji you want. Anything in the world, whether it's your favorite, your least favorite, the cutest, the ugliest, leave me whichever emoji you want. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.